Good morning everyone, I hope you're all really really good. Today we're going to be tackling the garden because I've got so much weeds going on. It's a weed jungle out there, a weed jungle. I mean look, you can't even see under the trees, it's just completely overgrown where we've had so much rain and then we have like a really hot day and then we go back to cold rain again. It's just so bizarre and the garden doesn't know what it's doing. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm not a gardener. I just try and make the best of what I've got. Anyway, I thought, right, nip to Tesco quick and see what bits I can get because I've got so much to be doing and I haven't got a lot of stuff, in all honesty. Um, I'm quite bad at leaving leaving stuff around, and as we know, and um, a lot of it gets ruined in the garden. It gets rusted, and, and or I can't find it. I just can't find it. Never know. It might be under all those weeds or my tools and gloves and what god knows what else but anyway i'm in tesco and i thought i'd head to the seasonal aisle and have a look and see if they've got anything i wasn't overly impressed in all fairness wasn't overly impressed they didn't have a lot they didn't have the sort of things i had in mind i really want to build a sand pit for the kids i think that'd be absolutely awesome all it is is four bits of wood and you know do a couple of seats on the corners but look i'm obsessed with popcorn sweet popcorn I've got an addiction, like a really bad, sudden addiction to popcorn. I've never liked it my entire life and I've always refused it. But all of a sudden, ever since I went to see the Barbie film, went over to Hastings and I tried a bit of my son's popcorn. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. I just showed you there that when I got back, Nick had already cut the grass and trimmed the edges. So I haven't got to do that, which is blooming nice because even though I, do, I quite enjoy it, I don't like getting it out and putting it away. I just don't like doing it. But this is what I picked up. I've got some gloves. I've got a little, yeah, I can't remember what that middle one's called. And a little scraper thing. Don't know what that's called either. <laughs> I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well, honestly. And I thought I'll go around all the edges, all these bits first, before I start tackling all the mess and whatnot. But having Nick cut the grass has given me a bit more of a, a visual of what I need to to get on with but today's absolutely beautiful it's stunning it, like i didn't realize how hot it was until i started working out here and in the end i have to go and get changed because it's boiling and it's really weird because i i don't i don't regulate a, um, a temperature very well um so i can go from boiling hot to freezing cold in the slightest wind change so yeah cardigan off cardigan on cardigan off but i'm tackling these bits here these really drive me nuts like they just form everywhere i really want to deck this area it's something that will happen but it's definitely not happening this year we've got so much to do but um we'll get there eventually it's all it's all funds and time and yeah just it's, it's hard work but how is everyone what have you all been up to what have you been up to i bet you've been in the garden a lot haven't you yeah it's that kind of weather if you've got a garden you're out there even if you're not a gardener you just get out there and you're like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But it's really therapeutic. I love going in the garden and just like a, like a little old woman that I am pottering about in the garden. I just find it really, really nice. And then afterwards, I'm like, oh, I did that. The thing with a garden is you can't clear it up and make it look pristine, like in one hit. You know, you can clean a whole room. You can clean your kitchen. You can clean up your bathroom, whatever. And you can look back at it and go, Look at that. No one touch it. Whereas with a garden, you don't get that. You know, you can make it look neater, but it, there's always going to be chaos amongst it. But it is nice to get all the weeds out. And in this video, I do get all the weeds, like in the areas that I do do. I've got many other places that I need to do. I need to do by the barbecue. I need to do around the front. Oh, my goodness me. There's like a whole new fence being built at the front with, with the weeds I've got. Jesus. Simba trying to get in the bag. Bless him. Oh, he's in. He's in. Anyway, I thought, no, it's too hot. I'm going to have to go and get changed. So I did. And um, I made an absolute boo-boo here. Yeah, and I didn't realise it until literally last night when I was, like, trying to get to sleep. Because so I thought, oh, I could do a tip run today. You know, I might do a tip run. Take all the garden stuff down. I've got to get that carpet back out of there. That's the rug I washed. The rug I washed, I had it on the trampoline to dry. And then I put it on the chair because the kids went on the trampoline and it fell off the side because I had it sort of like just rolled a little bit on the side it fell into the mud again and I was like brilliant got to rewash that and I never did and it rained and rained and rained and it's just gone manky basically so a hundred quid rug is just wrecked wrecked and I only had it for like I don't know six months if that I got it last summer holiday 
so yeah there we go but um I mean, yeah, well, it is what it is. It's my own fault. I've just been a bit silly, and I? But here we go, just having a bit of a tidy up, going around getting all the bind weed off. It's a nightmare when bind weed goes around your roses. Now, I love growing roses, and I've got quite a few that are actually doing quite well this year because I, last year I was really good at feeding them, and I've been keeping that going with, like, rose feed and whatnot. And the bind weed just goes around, and then you get all the thorns, and you can't untwine it very easily and it pricks you anyway something I don't know what it was I think it was some kind of insect I felt sudden pain really bad in my baby finger like going down the bone to the point where look at that weed I just pulled out look it's taken half the soil with it but it's out it's like pulling out a spot um yeah so I it's something something stabbed me so I whipped my glove off the pain going down my side of my hand was absolutely unbelievable like it was kind of like bordering on I'm gonna pass out and be sick there was a black, very thin, sharp prong in my baby finger knuckle. And I pulled it out, shaked my glove off, had a little look, couldn't see anything, carried on. But the pain was still there, but nowhere near as bad. But it got bad all night. It was swelling. It's still swollen now. It's got a bright red mark. It's gone up to my wrist. It's all down my baby finger. And my baby finger's kind of like stiff and hanging. <laughs> um Minnie always does this when I put the washing out she rolls under it it's like a game look bless her heart um but yeah I don't know what's happened there so I took some antihistamines last night I was messaging my mum and she was like take some antihistamines take some painkillers get some antiseptic um wash on it give it a good clean antibacterial and all that and I did that she said all that it's a trip to an A&E &A. and I'm like I'm not doing that I'll be there I'll be there still now waiting so no, I'm not wasting time down there over a, a swollen, non-movable finger. But um, it is coming along so much better. And it's so hard when, when you're filming gardening because everything's green. And it's not like you can really see a huge difference. But when you're doing it, you can really see the difference. But again, it's just so... Look at me. I look like, <laughs> do you know what I look like? I look like Gollum has put a wig on. And decided I'm going to put some shorts and a cardi on and go and potter about the garden. It's like Smeagol's out there. Yeah. But I'm enjoying myself. I'm happy. I don't care. I don't care. Mum of eight kidzillas. If you're watching this, my lovely, I'm going to be sending you some chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate is coming your way. I am, um, I'm sending you out. A couple of my favourite, favourite chocolates. Um, so if you're happy to and you want to, then just message me. I don't know if you're on Instagram or if you're on Facebook. I don't use Facebook, but I do have an account. It's private and I don't ha even have family on there. It's literally just for schools. But you could still find me that way and I'll, and I'll, um, yeah, I'll, 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 and I'll send you them out. So yeah, just ping me your address and, um, expect some chocolates to come your way they're for you and for you alone my lovely kids get treated all the time and us parents we don't treat ourselves enough so make sure you you keep that little stash to yourself that's if that's if you like them obviously um but yeah i'm, I'm doing this patch here i'm trying to tackle as much underneath this tree as much as possible because this is well it's not a tree this is actually a plant that my eldest son who's now 17 when we, he started his first school he was only four they had a fair, it's a summer fair, and he bought for, I think it was like 20p, this little plant in a pot, and he absolutely loved it, and he called it Planty. And I never knew at the time that that, that Planty was going to turn into the absolute huge, huge shrub that it has. Like, it is massive, it's like big as a tree. You can see it there on the right, the first green one, not the tree, not the pink one, it's the next one. But in the autumn and winter, it's beautiful because it has bright red um, stems. And it's actually a dog, is it a dogwood something? I can't remember. I always forget it. I search it and then I find it. I'm like, oh, that's what it's called. And then I forget it again. So I'm just giving the garden a bit of a tidy up now. I've tackled the majority of it. But I've got this shrub here. You can see it. You can see it by this thing I'm about to pick up. It smells lovely and it grows rapid. But this year... It's trying to grow amongst dead branches. So I thought I'm just going to cut it all the way back because I know this will grow back like very quickly. And it grows into like 
these beautiful red little flowers and this smells lovely and it's a bumblebee favorite like you can go out there and i'm not joking you can have like six seven eight bumblebees all at one time all day on this bush so the best thing to do is just to literally cut it back because i've had this this now for years and this also came in a tiny little plant pot which i got from the little garden shop down the road and um it it grows rapid and it grows quickly and it's it's a survivor that one that is a returner let me tell you if i can remember what it's called i'll um I'll, uh, I'll i'll mention it but i don't remember what this one's called at all and um yeah so i'm cutting it all the way back one time i pulled it all the way out like all the root everything and i resoiled this whole area and it's growing back again so once you've got one i think there's literally no hope of getting rid of it not that i'd want to because it is really nice but this is absolutely jammed with bindweed prickles and um, we we grew strawberries once and we still get all the prickly um vines and everything that came off that that comes all the way along and yeah whatever's growing next door because there's no one there it's all coming through the fence and i i pull a bindweed and i'm literally pulling out from the other side it's madness absolute madness but once i've got all this cleared i'm going to get a mixture made up i've taken notes of everything that you've told me about trying to get tackle all these weeds i've made notes of them and i'm going to make up in my kitchen some little combination like some crazy little smeagol witch in there and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna start tackling them but i want to pull it all back first before i start pouring all this stuff down you know to try and get rid of them but it's so much clearer look all that i got yeah you're going in there you're going in the sack i'm gonna have great fun getting the rug out of there today i'm gonna do it today because if i don't the rain will come and it will just squash it all down and then it'll be even worse to get out so i'm gonna do it today but the table's got cat paw prints on it it's got a glove mark on there flick a snail off so i thought spray it over and what best way to clean this table instead of breaking me back yes you know it came out the washing machine didn't it and on it goes yeah it does smear in the sun at first but once it's completely set it was it's all clear so that was all good i said to the boys when i got them from school i was like you can eat in the garden it's all clean and they did they were out there munching away i made um honey and chili salad chicken fajitas oh they were beautiful really nice little mexican it's a mexican paste and i was going to do it just for me and nick because i thought the kids won't eat that but when i tried a little bit i was like no do you know what they're all gonna love that so i gave it to everyone and everyone literally demolished them so that was a winner but i'm putting these plant pots down here now there's a bit more room look at it already look look at my efforts i feel proud of myself i do this was it before absolute mess a mess i mean it's not perfect it is not perfect it's not going to be done in a day but I've made a start for the summer and I can just keep on top of it every day. Look at it now. It's actually trimmed. It's had a better trim than what I've had, honestly. Jesus Christ, don't even get me started. I feel the plug hole when I shave my legs. It's been so long. Don't even know why I've just said that, but it just came to my head and it came, then it came out of my mouth. But yeah, the table's all clean. Yes. And all that. If you want to sit in that chair, you're facing the wall. You're literally facing the fence. That's a naughty chair. <laughs> it's not really but that's what it looks like yeah and everything was just left but i'm really really pleased now my rose is looking beautiful as well absolutely gorgeous i pulled that from the front of the house and brought it to the back and it's actually growing bigger now because it's getting all that sunshine and yeah he's made himself at home there that one or shall i say she it's more of a she isn't it yeah but the um the walkway bit here isn't done fully but at least I can actually get under there and, yeah, continue it. Maybe even plant some stuff under there once I've put all the weed killer and that down. But it's looking better. It's a gorgeous day. And yet again today, we've got another gorgeous day. So let me know what you're up to. And um, I'm probably going to be here doing a bit more. Yeah. Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? They follow me everywhere thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one don't forget mum of mum to eight kidzillas give me a message and i will send that out to you and i'll see you all in my next one